TV. We'll be back on Nugget TV in a few. Movie. Nugget is real. Find it out of your mind on TV and online. If you're a kid with a noggin, then turn on a noggin. We're here for you all the time. You'll find your drawings, your movies, your stories. They're groovy right here, cause it's yours to see. So if there's something that's far to that question, more to it could end up on TV or online. So email us right now, get stuff so excited. Cause we can't do it without you. Noggin, it's 24 hours. Another main power, it's noggin, it's yours, it's true. This is the deal. We want you to send us stuff, like your short stories, your poems, your ideas, your opinions, or whatever else you have inside your head that you want to get out. Noggin? Cool. Nogginoid. Those bumps on your tongue are not taste buds. The taste buds hide underneath those bumps. Nogginoid. Nogginoid. More information, go to noggin.com. Now, your TV has got more square on TV on Noggin TV. Hey, it's me, Alice, here to remind you that we have no commercials. So, keep your noggins plugged into Noggin for some nogginy stuff. Noggin? Cool. <laughs> Hey, for one TV, we'll be back on Noggin TV in a few. Groovy. Big ones. And, huh? Where have all the rear ends gone? Well, looky here. But, suspiciously matching their imprints. Are being spotted on bicycles, on park benches reading books, in backyards, baking cookies, even shaking it on a dance floor. Yep. Those clever behinds found another way to noggin. Your butt is your brain's best friend. When you move it, try it. Leave a hole behind you on your way out. You noggin wherever you go. Hey, for one TV, we'll be back on noggin TV in a few. Groovy. Noggin number one. Children's Television Workshop. Oh, big big noggin, noggin number three. The biggest big noggin of them all. You, you, you. You are the biggest big noggin behind noggin because noggin is the first 24 hour thinking network totally sparked by you, you, you. Ooh, that's one big noggin. What sparks you? Eyebrows. Women in early Egypt removed their eyebrows because they considered an eyebrowless face a more attractive look. Now, your TV has got more square on TV on Noggin TV. And it's gonna start right now on Noggin. This show was made by the Big Noggin at CTW. You know, the Children's Television Workshop. Hey, for one TV, we'll be back on Noggin TV in a few. Groovy. You know the words to the Electric Company theme song? We're gonna sing in the shower. If you do, you could win 12 months of free electricity. How's that again? 12 months of free electricity. Noggin wants to turn on your power with the Noggin Turns On Your Power sweepstakes. All you have to do is know the words to the Electric Company theme song and write them down and send them in. Ba -da 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 -da. One grand prize winner will have their electric bill paid by Noggin for a whole entire year. Ten first prize winners will get a Noggin t-shirt and an electric company hat. Go to Noggin.com for all the details or mail the lyrics along with your name, age, address, and phone number to Noggin Turns On Your Power Sweepstakes. There's not just one version, there's three. So you have three times the chance of being right. We're gonna light the sky with the thing of... Light. And don't worry if you don't know the words, they don't either. It's the electric company! Noggin-oid. Freckles. You could think of freckles as tiny versions of spots like leopards and Dalmatians have. <laughs> except less furry. Freckles. More information, go to noggin.com. 
now your TV has got more square on TV on Noggin TV. We interrupt this program for a special live report from Inside Eddie Johnson. For more, we go to Bruce Peebles, somewhere inside Eddie's brain. I'm here in Eddie's cerebral cortex with brain supervisor, Jane Osgood. We've just gotten word that Eddie has spotted Emily Fleck, a girl from school he has a crush on. Wow, big news. It is big news. He's been trying to talk to this girl for a year now. Come on, Eddie. Eye of the tiger. You can do it, babe. Uh, what's his problem? He's just a little shy, okay? Hypothalamus, talk to me. What's up with the heart, lungs, and glands? Fully stoked, Jane. Pedal to the metal. If the kid doesn't do something quick, he's gonna blow like the 4th of July. Hey, hold him together for me, Bobby. I'm counting on you. Uh, Jane, what's the situation here? Well, Eddie's body's in the middle of something called the fight or flee response. Fight or flee? Flee response. When you're in a crisis situation of any kind, the hypothalamus here, it gets your body ready for action. It tells your heart and your lungs to work faster to get more blood and oxygen into your muscles. It also gets your glands pumping adrenaline so you have more energy to... Fight your fear and talk to a girl or flee like a big, scared, jug-eared wuss boy. To flee or not to flee, that is the question. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, will somebody tell me what's going on up there? We're looking at 90 beats per minute, up from 70 a second ago. What's going on? Eddie, see a werewolf or something? Worse, Roy, it's Emily Fleck. Oh, no. This kid isn't going to bolt like a bunny again, is he? Well, that's what we're here to find out. Emily Intercept, commencing in approximately 30 seconds. Stand by. Standing by. The trouble just got word from the Cerebrum. Eddie wants to play back some memories. I think he wants to remember what happened with Emily last time. Oh, bad idea, Eddie. Really stinko. He's just gonna make himself more nervous. As you can see, last time he opted for the flea response. Ouch. I knew it. He's beginning to freak. Heart's up to 110. He's hyperventilating. We're going critical here. Get me the sweat glands. Let's see the armpit. Come on, armpit. What's the status down there? In scientific terms, he sweat like a pig. I hope he used the odor it. Me? I'm still born and fresh. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Emily intercept in 10 seconds. What's it gonna be, Eddie? Fight or flee? Come on. She's not gonna bite you. Be taking care of business. He's gonna fight. Yes. Yeah. All right, Eddie. What happens now? Well, I guess our little lover boy's finally going to talk to her. The question is, what is he going to say? Poetry. Sheer poetry. Speech cortex pronto. Don't get too comfy. Emily intercept in five, four, three, two, one. Rock on, Eddie. Hi. Hi. Yahoo! Yeah! Oh, they go up so fast. Yes! Yes! Woo! 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 And there you have it, with his body revved to an advanced state of readiness, Eddie's chosen to fight his shyness instead of fleeing like a big, scared, jug-eared wuss boy. Eddie! Oh, be careful. Watch what you're doing, Eddie. Watch out. Look out, watch where you're going, the tree. Eddie, watch out for the tree! From inside Eddie Johnson's cerebral cortex, I'm Bruce... Coming up next, it's Ghost Rider. And it's gonna start right now! On Noggin. Noggin. This show is made by the big Noggins at CTW. You know, the Children's Television Workshop. Hey, Square One TV will be back on Noggin TV in a few. Groovy. Hungry? Want some food? Here's some brain food. Help us save the earth. It's a tasty. <laughs> waste and paper waste trees and not waste the earth. So at school, try using both sides of your notebook paper and save partially used paper for scrap. At home, 
Use a cup that can be washed, rather than a paper cup you throw away. Because why throw out a part of the earth when you really don't have to? Brain food. What are you noggin? Nogginoid. Putting your thumbs in your ears and wiggling your fingers at the same time is the universal sign for na 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 na. For information, go to noggin.com. Now, your TV has got more Square On TV on Noggin TV. What you are about to see are some Noggin interstitials. Short and funky story type things that we put between the shows instead of commercials. Check them out. tell you what's coming up. So you're not just sitting there like, uh, what's next? Okay, first we've got Ghost Rider, and then after that we've got Nick News. So, keep on nogging. Woohoo! We interrupt this program for a special live report from Inside Eddie Johnson. For more, we go to Bruce Peebles, somewhere inside Eddie's stomach. I'm here in Eddie's stomach with a live report on the noises that are disrupting Eddie's fifth period study hall. Shh. We're here with the digestion supervisor, Linda Lowenfeld, hoping to get some answers. Linda, what's the situation? Oh, the kids just got a talkative stomach, that's all. Actually, if you listen, you can hear what it's saying. It's saying, feed me, you jerkhead. We gotta get some food down here. Uh, it's, it's not really talking, is it? Oh, no, 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 Bruce. It's not actually. The noise you are hearing is the sound of air and gastric juices all burbling around in the small intestines. Do you mind? We're talking up here. Excuse me for living. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of racket goes on all the time down there, even when your stomach is full. But when your stomach is empty, the noise kind of echoes around up here, creating a growling noise that most normal people would stop and hear and say, my body is telling me that it is hungry. Why don't I replenish it with a delicious tangelo? <laughs> my, what a surprise. Look at that. When you don't eat, your blood sugar drops. When it drops, you droop, you're out of gas, you've got no go. I better check on the brain. That whole operation runs entirely on energy from sugar. Hey, you guys, rise and shine. We gotta get some fuel down here. Oh, come on, Linda, lighten up. We're doing the best we can. The poor kid, he's stuck in the library. He doesn't have any food. Oh, yes, he does. He's going for a secret stash. His shoelaces, they're, they're licorice, cherry licorice. do it. It's not worth it. What's going on? Eddie found some food. It's not a delicious tangelo now, is it? <laughs> food ahoy! It's cherry licorice and lots of it. It's about three feet of nothing but simple sugars. It ain't gonna be pretty. I thought you said uh, sugar turns into energy. That, that's good, right? Oh, yeah, but not when it's simple sugar. It's too much, too fast. Down there in the small intestine, it gets absorbed into your blood faster than a chimp with a hot foot. Take a look at that blood sugar monitor, Bruce. What do you see? I'd say that kid's in the middle of a sugar rush. Mm, bingo. And with some kids, what goes up has got to come down like a bag of bricks. And there you have it. All indicators pointing to one disturbing conclusion. Eddie Johnson's on the fast train to Sleepy Town. For continuing coverage of his upcoming sugar crash, stay tuned. So, you know Noggin is on all the time, like 24 hours a day. But you might not know what's on when or what's for who and where. So here's the deal. In the morning, all the way through lunchtime, Noggin's for little kids. Older kids, too, if you're homesick or something. It's got blue dogs, yellow birds, lots of songs, and fur. Then after school, Noggin's for older kids. It's got animal shows, cool science experiments, mysteries, and just shows about life. Then before and all the way through after dinner and dishes, 
There's a mishmash of shows for a mishmash of people. You know, everyone in your family. And then, if you're like me, time for bed. But nothing keeps on going. So if you get up for a drink in the middle of the night, don't be surprised if you find your mom or dad or their weird friends watching Nagin. Getting all goofy because it's got the exact same shows they watched when they were kids. Get a little of that hair. And then, Nagin starts all over again. Because it's 24 hours of everything with a special time for everybody. Nagin? Good. And if you want to know even more about what's on when, go to Nagin.com. What sparks you? What, what, what sparks what you? What sparks, 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 sparks you? What sparks you? Girls basketball. Cool. Every time I go to school, people say sports are for boys. I don't think that, but then when I make a basket, I feel like that I know how to do it, too. Like, I'm included, too. What sparks you? Noggin! Nogginning, what's coming up next? Noggin. The reason why we have these mix and matchy collage things is so you know what shows are up next. So, next is Square One TV. And next after that is Nick News. These are pretty cool. A noggin. Okay, now, so do we know what this letter is? No. Yes. What is it, Debo? A. Hey. Hey, it's A. Is it A? Hey, Grover. It's A? Hey. 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 Hey, you. Hey. Emma was in big trouble. See, Emma wanted to spell the word apple. Emma knew apple began with the letter A, but Emma just couldn't remember what the letter A looked like. Uh, Elmo came to me with his problem. Uh, I'm a school teacher, so I knew just where to tell him to go. The alphabet. It's got all the letters in it. All of them. Elmo looked at the alphabet, and there it was. The letter A for Apple, see? <laughs> the alphabet. It's just the place for letters. I was trying to think of the letter that made the ool sound, like in the words lettuce and luggage but I just couldn't think of it. My mind was a blank. <sighs> Big Bird couldn't think of a letter, so I told him to try the alphabet. All the letters are there, even the one that makes the ul sound. Gordon was right. I looked in the alphabet, and I found the letter I was looking for. The letter L. It was there in the alphabet the whole time. <laughs> so if it's a letter you're looking for, try the alphabet. It's as simple as A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. The alphabet. We've got your letter. Nog, noggin, nog, noggin. Noggin? Noggin. 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 Nog, noggin. What sparks you? What sparks you? Oh, you like noggin. baseball music? I love dance. Fair. Comic book. I like this thing. What sparks you? I give me photography. Basketball. Cool. What sparks you? Um, bugs. Oh. Bugs. Playing mantises. Um, Black Widow spiders, ants, ants, queen ant. There are small kinds, kinds about this big. They're all different sizes and all different legs. There's a centipede where I never counted all the legs. I think that one has a hundred. You can find wasp nests almost anywhere and find them in the strangest places, even under tables. In the I mean, tables? Yeah, find them in there. What sparks you? The show you're about to see is... Square One TV! And it's gonna start... Right now! On Noggin. This show is made by the big Noggins at CTW. You know, the children's television workshop. Hey, Square One TV will be back on Noggin TV in a few. Groovy. 
Hungry? Want some food? Here's some brain food. Help us save it to Earth. It's a tasty. What's the big deal with that little white cup? Big words like chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs used in making that cup, and refrigerators and aerosols emit gases which get caught in the atmosphere and cause global warming. That's a big deal for a little white cup. So use them less, then they'll make them less. Brain food. Flora, you're not here. In one night, an aardvark can eat up to 30,000 insects. Now, your TV has got more square on TV on Noggin TV. I'm 13 years old, and I like tin whistles and Thousand Island dressing. But enough about me. Coming up next is Nick News. Followed by Sesame Street Unpaved. It's all right here on Noggin. Back to me. Anyway, I like summer and baby chicks, and also like playing the piano. My name is Camilla Shembry. you can say what's on your mind. Turn on Noggin. Or log in to Noggin. If you want to play, that stand for you all of the time. Turn on Noggin. Turn on Noggin. to the Electric Company theme song? We're gonna sing in the shower! If you do, you could win 12 months of free electricity. How's that again? 12 months of free electricity! Noggin wants to turn on your power with the Noggin Turns On Your Power Sweepstakes! All you have to do is know the words to the Electric Company theme song and write them down and send them in. Ba -da 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 -da. One grand prize winner will have their electric bill paid by Noggin for a whole entire year. Ten first prize winners will get a Noggin t-shirt and an electric company hat. Go to Noggin.com for all the details or mail the lyrics along with your name, age, address, and phone number to Noggin Turns On Your Power Sweepstakes. There's not just one version, there's three. So you have three times the chance of being right. We're gonna light the sky with the thing of... Life. And don't worry if you don't know the words, they don't either. It's the electric company! This just in. The following episode of Nick News. Hey, Square One TV will be back on Noggin TV in a few. Groovy. Hey, you guys! We're gonna ring it on. We gonna ring it on. Do you know the words to the electric company theme song? We're gonna sing in the shower. If you do, you could win 12 months of free electricity. How's that again? 12 months of free electricity. Noggin wants to turn on your power with the Noggin Turns On Your Power Sweepstakes. All you have to do is know the words to the Electric Company theme song and write them down and send them in. Ba -da 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 -da. One grand prize winner will have their electric bill paid by Noggin for a whole entire year. Ten first prize winners will get a Noggin t-shirt and an electric company hat. Go to Noggin.com for all the details or mail the lyrics along with your name, age, address, and phone number to Noggin Turns On Your Power Sweepstakes. There's not just one version, there's three. So you have three times the chance of being right. We're gonna light the sky with the thing of... Life. And don't worry if you don't know the words, they don't either. It's the electric company! If you want to get rid of an itch, try using some aloe vera lotion, baking soda, or just a cool, moist cloth. Now, your TV has got more square on TV on Noggin TV. Hungry? Want some food? Here's some brain food. Flora, you're noggin. It's 12.45 with 15 minutes left on the clock. Wanda Pittman has to work quickly if she wants recess. She's working fast, remembering what her teacher said. 
Pikmin, you've got 15 minutes to get this done or you get no reset. Got it? Yikes, she's got to work faster. She's in the zone now. I think she's gonna make it. She's down for her last line, but wait! Oh, top break! Is there any poison going on? She takes seriously through her desk, scrambles for her lunchbox, and pulls out a... It looks like a spoon! Oh, I can't believe it! Now she's gnawing away with her teeth! This is pathetic! Is there some invention that could have prevented this catastrophic catastrophe? Let's go back in history and find out. It's 1897, and J.L. Love is hard at work on his latest invention, a box that shaves away thin slices of pencil wood, creating a fabulous point to write with. He's put a blade in the box. Sounds crazy, but it just might work. What will you call that, Mr. Love? The pencil sharpener. Brilliant! Wanda twists the pencil in the sharpener, and in a jiffy, it sharpens attack. She's writing her last sentence, and she's out of here! Brain food. What are you nodding? Nogginous. Something nogalicious is something really interesting to you. You know, something you just can't learn enough stuff about. Because once you learn a little, you want to know more and more and more. I think dolphins are nogalicious. Noggin? Cool. Noggin-size your noggin, baby. The nogginers nog-nogginly. Noggin-nog-makers nogalicious. The noggin? 